what is up, Sex Beast? Crazy Rabbit here, and today I'm showing you guys the Gorgon on round 50, so let's go ahead and get this shit started. So the Gorgon, unupgraded, is definitely not a good weapon. I really don't like it, it's not one of my favorite weapons, I'm never going to be using this thing, like, on any round. But when it's actually pack-a-punched, it turns into a pretty decent weapon, and it's actually very powerful. So it gets an increase in fire rate, increase in damage, increase in sexiness, increase in everything. It's a really good weapon when it's upgraded, and it's going to last you for a long time. Now when you're using this thing on round 50, the only real complaint that I have with it is that you move slower, and of course you're going to move slower, it's an LMG, all LMGs are going to make you move slower. And that's not something I want on round 50, and that really really bothers me sometimes, but if you want to kill some zombies with this weapon on high rounds, what you're going to want to do is get them in a straight line. Usually for like a lot of other weapons, you kind of just want to get all the zombies bunched up together, it doesn't really matter if they're in a straight line, but for this weapon you're going to want to have them in a straight line, so that way you can just get them in a straight line, aim for the head. Because that bullet's going to go through one zombie and hit the zombies behind it, and it's going to have a lot of penetration power, so after you kill that first zombie, it's going to be a lot easier to kill the other zombies behind it. So on round 50, you're going to be able to get some kills with this weapon as long as you aim for headshots and get them in one long straight line. If you get them all bundled up, or if you just like shoot them in the chest or something, you're not going to be doing much. But if you can actually get them all in one straight line, aim for the head, you're going to be able to kill a lot of zombies. Now I'd recommend you just get them in one straight line and then kind of run ahead of them because of course you're going to move slower when you have this weapon and when you actually aim down sights you're going to move even slower so you kind of want to make sure you have some distance between you and the zombies so that way you can actually shoot at the zombies for a couple seconds and actually get some kills. So this is probably a really good camping weapon if you're like on the giant and you're up on that catwalk. This is probably a really good camping weapon. I would not really recommend this for doing like any sort of cycle. So if you need a good weapon on early rounds that's really powerful and you want to camp somewhere, this is probably going to be one of your weapons, and even on round 50, if you need something to kill some zombies, this weapon will do. I just really want to recommend it because I really don't like having weapons that slow my mobility down. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys could, please hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.